Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's an edit using my partial TST macros. And uh, if you don't already have them, follow the links down below and you should find them there. So the partial TST. So what we're going to do is we're just going to drop three of them, one after the other, tint, shade and tone on top here. So they appear here. And then you just double click the white bits to do an edit. So I'll start off with tint. Double click on that and what I can do here is I will start off by pulling up the coarse tint here and what you can see here there's actually a very subtle effect happening here. See it lightening? I'll just go up and down quickly and if I want to see what's exactly happening with this I can alt click the icon for the uh, main thing here and you can see that there for that layer or oh, but it's easier actually is because I'm going to be doing everything else is turn everything else off so that's all I'm going to see so I can now bring up this again now then so now you can see what all it's doing is bringing up just the lighter parts of the image if I bring up hardness it will Crying hard. If you go all the way, it gets too crunchy, but part the way, you're going to get some reasonable amount there. And the fine adjustment is literally to bring in the rest of it very gently. If I put the background back on, you can see how this is blending in. And if you go to the top layer, you can see it uses a screen blend which will lighten. So you can turn that off and on, and you can see that effect. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a little bit more um, more colour to this. So I'm going to add to that, go to Adjustments and the Lens Filter. And the basic orange you start off with is good. And we can turn that up and it just adds just that little bit of warmth there. Again, this is, these are very subtle controls. Again, turn off the background and you can see here how that's affecting it. See, it's just bringing a bit of, of colour just into those areas yeah it's just only very lightly done and if i go to the, the uh, control again here i can adjust that again if i want to and just get the extent that kind of works here say not too hard or it gets too crunchy so there we go that looks about okay for there quinton off and on and you can see that effect. Right, that's that one. I'll close that up. Let's go to the next one now, which is shade. And double click that. Now this is going to add to the darkness in here. So this is, it's darker over here, so I'll just move the control. Now when I turn this up here, you can see it's, there's a quite stronger effect here. So I'm gonna just bring a bit of darkness around here and it effectively it creates a bit of effectively vignette around here and the fine doesn't do a great deal don't need that at the moment that's only for where you need it and hardness we can bring that up work well, again i can turn off the other layers so i can see exactly what i'm turning up and see this is brings in just the the darker areas first you can find something that fits that and again the hardness you can see the way that works again too much it's overdone so it's in the middle here somewhere and now you can see better again the effects of the fine control so if we put that back on have another look at this how dark do we want to make that? Um, maybe like that, so it really focuses in. And that'll do for that one. And now I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something else. I'm going to add a little bit of colour, because I added orange before. I'm going to balance that in the shades with a bit of, of bluish purple. So I'll go again to the lens filter, but now I'll change the colour down to something down here, that kind of darker purple, and bring that up. And there we go. 
See, so it makes a very, very subtle difference. It's not a big, not a very strong control this, but it just tints gently. And so when we put that, the background onto that, it's hardly noticeable, but it does have an effect. Turn it off and on, you can hardly see the difference, but it's just that little bit of control. So we now got this. And finally, let's have a look at tones. And adding tone here, what this does here, because it's using, if I click on the top layer, an overlay blend, that means the lights are going to get lighter and the dark is going to get darker. So it's kind of enhanced that kind of effect. In fact, let's turn off the other layers and see what this is doing. So as I bring this one up, then that's kind of okay. A bit more hardness on that, just to sort of strengthen that up. You can see how how much is being blended back in again. So you get before and after with just that. Then you add in the other two here, and you get that control. However, down here, I think this is going a little bit too dark. So what I'm going to do is I go back up to this one. I'm going to take out the bottom there. I think that's just too much. So I literally erase it. I go to the erase brush here and increase here. Or I can put a mask on. In fact, I think I'll do the mask method. So I click on here, click on the mask layer. So now I need a paintbrush. I use now use the paintbrushes because it is um, it's it's changeable using it on a mask. So turn the opacity down about forty percent. So this is going to take this out here. Click on here, then shift click down the other, and and it's just painted across there. So when you look at it with this, it's just taken out a bit there. Now I can turn the mask on and off. And see it's just lightened that a bit. Maybe I'll do another layer across there and I think that's probably about it. I could do more on the shade if I wanted to. So overall here you go that's what I got. So let's take click on the top one, shift click on the bottom one so I could get all three I could say before and after. That's okay. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a uh, with this, I do all them effectively. Do arrange and flip horizontal. Some are pictures like that. Why is this? Because when the eye goes across the image, then it tends to go from left to right, and darker area on the right will stop it. So it comes in easily because it tends to follow the lights. When it gets to the blacks, the eye slows down. You may prefer it the other way, that's perfectly all right. But I, I'm doing it just for that purpose. Okay, that's it. And thank you very much for watching.